now schedule is again uh, when we want to well, we will have a installment type of working so in case of installment payments we can create this installment so for example there are four installments is uh, decided for the payments and and then we can also have a lot of other options like we want uh, uh, a monthly or a fixed payment so generally it is very uh, complex thing to define that so what we do okay as per the payment term um, while creating the payment uh, there we have option how much to pay it's not necessary that we have to pay fully always so what happened once the due date come and if we have uh, to pay uh, some installments so we will calculate that amount suppose there is a payment of 10000 rupees and he said okay you can pay in two installments and then installment is given in the purchase order okay what are the uh, installments so based on that the accountant will calculate that amount and from while creating payment he will change that amount to that amount whatever he wanted to and system will close the payment and invoice get settled with that amount only so it will remain open but if you have very um, the automation that we it has to be Uh, create some uh, schedule automatically and it to display what is the schedule for that okay then only we need this payment schedule so let's try to create one more uh, one payment schedule here for new and you can set two installments payment schedule you can say two installments okay then in the allocation so it's a total we we have to make total to be divided into two so we can say total amount here instead of uh, what are the option there total fixed amount fixed quantity and specified so we will put it total here so we don't know the amount so we cannot fix amount so let's put total then in the payment per day so instead of per day suppose there are monthly two installments so per two so instead of days you can make it month you see that days allowing you to change to month is it drop down drop down there no drop down is not there payment uh, per month okay change just queue change to be one so payment um, we don't then uh, unable to enter here sir it is not taking okay see we thought to so link text is uh, go to the payment line go to the payment line add is available no right no save this first save this okay uh allocation just change allocation is to fix amount okay and then uh, next is payment per ha uh, per month okay make it month here and change you can select here change every month every month so month uh, every one month yes number of payments you can set two if it is allowing you no, no. right amount also we don't want maximum minimum we don't want total is fine now go to the save this option payment line is appearing you can add or not it's asking specify so, amount is specify amount mm, amount how can we specify because we it should work as per the okay max maximum amount ठीक है maximum amount डाल दो कुछ thousand two lakhs rupees maximum minimum 
रुपीज वन डाल दो वन रुपीज डाल दो पुट इट वन ओनली अदरवाइज इट विल नॉट अलाउ यू टू क्रिएट एनी ओके वन एंड देन फ्लेक्सिबल प्लान कुछ नहीं है ठीक है सेव दिस I I have not configured this. I am just trying this time. Then, oh. uh, so what is this? Specify amount for what? Amount transaction currency. Because it is fixed, I think we need to define these all this amount that how much uh, fixed amount we suppose this is monthly twenty twenty thousand monthly ten thousand. It is decided. In that case, I think we have to create like this. So here. We have amount. to enter amount here. Yeah, so monthly twenty thousand will be paid. Minimum is fine one. Every one month it will twenty thousand. Maximum will be twenty fine. And uh, that's it. That's it. Say this. Okay. Okay, so what we will do? We will try this uh, schedule in one of the transition, and we will get to know how it works. Okay, to so create one more, create one more transition with the different allocation type. This is the two installment which we given. Create uh, one more for maybe you can say. Uh, Now here, if it is six one, we need to give you uh, as a twenty k we have to give. Now, for example, this is the bit of fixed amount. What is the other option there? In allocation, just drop down, check that. The fixed amount, is, fixed quantity specified. Fixed quantity. Okay. Go to the specified. Select specified. The Why? And then uh, in that schedule, just give specified. Let's uh, for understanding, just give the specified one. Type the specified yeah. so that we can verify it. And then go to other option. Days of days, keep that on. Other option there, month, year, and all. So keep uh, all. Keep all here. Good. Next, next tab. Come on. Next, see that what are the other options available. Then proportionally, okay. Tax allocation proportionally. Right. Okay. Then just it's fine. Then save this and see that add is there. Like payment uh, lines are there. Add that line. And number of installment is right. It's okay. Uh, after due date, okay. So it is after due date. So okay, we will say that number of uh, periods. So after due date, maybe you can say four periods. So uh, uh, create four, and then in percentage move move give to the twenty five. In percentage, put it twenty five percent. So what what is what we are defining here? That a vendor has requested that I will pay in your four installments because due date has gone and we requested that please pay and he requested that okay I want the payment I will pay the in four equal installments so that's what we are creating now here okay save this see is there any option for at the bottom or that's it. Note is okay for for installment kind of we can put or not necessary. What is the shipping? Uh, we need to explore that. Okay, so that's it. Close this. We will use this when we actually do the payments uh, transactions. We will check this how it works.